right, welcome to the Christian Family Center's virtual exercise classes. We're glad to have you with us today. A couple reminders before we get started. First and foremost, please check with your health care provider if you haven't already before beginning an exercise program. If you feel any dizziness, chest pain, or other discomfort while you're exercising, please stop immediately. By continuing, you're assuming all risks associated with this activity. Have a wonderful workout and a blessed day. Hi, welcome to the center. My name is Carrie. Today we're going to be doing a series of exercises that you can do anywhere. All you need is a nice clear area, dumbbells if you have it, or even a backpack that have some heavy items in it. Let's start with our warm up. We're just going to roll the shoulders back and roll them forward. One more time, back and forward. Let's start by some nice swimming. Forward. And now backwards. Good. Bringing our arms out in front. We're going to do a nice gentle torso twist. Good. Hands on hips. Hinging from the hips, chest is still lifted. We're going to just gently hinge down. Two more. Nice job. Good. Let's warm up just a little bit further before we get started. Stepping over the dog or hurdles, whatever you like to call it. Good. Now backwards. Nice job. We're just going to loosen up those ankles, circles, other foot. Nice. If you're able to or if you have a wall nearby, let's go ahead and stretch those quads. Other leg. Nice job. The first exercise we're going to do is we're going to step forward with our right foot, left foot back. We're going to do some nice punches. So we're going to bring our hands up and we're going to punch forward and we're going to come across the body. Don't be afraid to loosen up those hips. Everything we're going to be doing today is going to be in a 10 count. Let's begin. One, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Let's go ahead and switch. Make sure when you step forward, toes are pointing forward. Bring those hands up. One, three, five. Seven, nine, and ten. Nice job. If you have dumbbells, go ahead and grab that. You can use soup cans if you like. Or you can just do nothing in the hands. That's fine as well. We're going to step forward. We're going to start with the right foot. Stepping forward as far as what's comfortable for you. Make sure you can still keep your balance. We're going to try to pass this midline here and then step back. So it's going to be a forward and back. Good. That was three. Make sure not to tip forward. We're looking down to the ground. Three more going forward and back. Two and three. Good. Stepping forward now on the left. Same thing. Step forward as far as you're comfortable. Try to pass the center line. If you can't, you can do a toe down just to get your balance and then step back. That was one. Make sure the toes are still pointing straight forward. Here's four. Five. Six. Seven. Nine 
nice job. We're gonna set the weights off to the side. Make sure they're not in the way. We're gonna do this body weight only. If you have something small, lightweight, you can add that in as well. We're gonna start by stepping to the side, knees slightly bent, hips are back. Hands gonna come here. We're gonna come up. We're gonna come down again. Step it together to the side. That was one. Oops, I stepped forward. That's okay. We'll start from the beginning. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. job. Make sure nothing's in your way. Again, we're going to step to the side. Knee bent, hips back. Step it together. That was one. Two. Three. Four. weights again and we're gonna go this is where if you don't have weights you can use soup cans you can even use a backpack so if you have a backpack you've loaded up with something heavy you can bring that backpack in front of you or your weights our elbows are gonna be glued down right next to our ribs palms up bracing our abs but still breathing through this we're gonna curl for one Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Set one of those weights down. Again, you can do this with a ball, a dumbbell, or even that backpack again. We're going to bring the arms straight up. Elbows are going to stay in, and we're going to lower down. Looks like this from the side. I'm breathing. Exhaling as I come up, inhale. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. Lower that weight or backpack down. We're gonna work on our lats. Since we don't have a lat pull down machine at home, we're gonna add our resistance in by using our body weight, reaching up high as you can. We're gonna pull down. We're gonna really struggle, almost like we're pulling against that imaginary weight. We're gonna bring the elbows down and squeeze the shoulder blades in. Let's try this together. One, two, three, Four, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Bring those elbows back. Here's six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. One more thing with our dumbbells before we go down to the floor. We're gonna bring this weight right up here across, right below our collarbone. We're gonna do a nice squat. When we do that, our weights and our heels, our hips are back, chest is lifted. As I push up through my heels, I'm gonna bring this weight towards my right shoulder. I'm gonna bring it down, and I'm gonna do opposite sides. We're gonna alternate. Two, two, three, three, four, Four, five, five, six, six, seven, 
seven, eight, eight. Almost there. Keep going, one more on each side. 10 and 10, nice job. If you need a drink, grab that drink now. We're gonna head on down to the ground. So again, clear area, if you have a mat, great. What we'll be doing first is mountain climbers. So we're gonna be in that nice plank position, shoulders and wrists lined up. And again, we're gonna bring the knee forward towards our chest and we're gonna do a total of 20, 10 on each side. Here we go. Two, seven, eight, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 20. Nice job. Now to the side. Lining the shoulder and the elbow up. I'm gonna modify this for you today. Palms down. We're gonna raise the hip up. Dip it down, but don't put all of our weight down on the ground. And back up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Go ahead and bend that top leg. Lines up with the bottom now. Feet are together and we're gonna open up for a clamshell. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. We're gonna go to the back now. And you can slide your hands right underneath side joints. side plank and again we're gonna add in those hip bumps and then do a clamshell all right here we go hand on hip line this up ready one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten good bend that top leg knees lined up Feet. Gonna stay together for this one. Lifting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Let's go to our back. We're gonna do some glute bridges. We're gonna do these maybe a little different than what you've done before. Our feet are gonna be together for this one. Knees are gonna fall apart. Palms are down. We're gonna push up using our heels and we're gonna push our hips up, squeeze the glutes. That will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one last one, 10, good. Crossing our ankle over the top of the other leg. We're gonna make a diamond, resting just our head in here. So we're not gonna be pulling on it. We're gonna bring our opposite elbow up to the knee and crunching. Again, we're not pulling on our head or our neck. Here's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, nice job. Switch to the other side, crossing over again, making sure your head can rest here. Two. Five. Seven. Nine, and one last one, 10. Nice job. We're gonna come on up. 
One more exercise before we end this round. It's going to be bird dogs. I'm going to show you how to do these and modify them depending on your exercise level. First of all, we want to line up our shoulders and our wrists and our knees and our hips. If our knees are together, we're going to lose balance and put weight on the hips and not actually work what we're supposed to. We're going to step out, toe only opposite arm lifts. We're going to try to keep our eyesight forward, avoiding tipping the chin in, and we're going to bring it out. We're going to do 10 on each side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. We're going to switch to the other foot and again it's important to keep our balance here so toe tapping out, opposite arm, bringing it in. Make sure to line the knee and the hip up. Two, three, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Nice job. This is a good time to get a drink. We're going to start a second round. If that's all you had time for, that's fine. You got some movement in today. We're going to start back from the top of our round, not with our warm-up, but with our punches. We're going to step forward with that right foot. Again, making sure toes are pointed forward. Hands are up. There's five. Eight, nine, ten. Switch feet. Good. And again, you can widen up your base if you need to. Jab front and then to the back. Five. Eight, nine, ten. Nice job. We're going to grab those weights again, or you can do these without weights forward and back lunges. Starting with the left this time. Forward. If you need to stop here, try to do two only and then step back. Five. Here's eight. Nice job. Other foot. Right foot forward. Again, if you have to stop in the middle, that's okay. Try to use only the toes to balance. Here's three, four, Set those weights off to the side. Good. Starting on our right, we're going to step out. Again, hips are back. Bring it up. Step together as our arm goes no higher than the shoulder. Here we go. Oops, I stepped in again. I did that on the first round. Here we go. Three. Four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Other side. Here we go. One, two, three. Here's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice 
nice jab. Roll those shoulders out. Let's reach up nice and high. Again, we're pulling down using our own body weight, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Pretending like there's a tennis ball there we're trying to squeeze. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Grab your weights if you have them. Again, it can be that backpack filled with items. Palms are out facing towards me. Elbows are into those ribs. And curl. Make sure you're breathing. There's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Let's set one of those weights off to the side. We'll do a tricep extension. So we're going to bring our weight up overhead. Elbows are in, lowering behind your head. Again, we're bracing those abs, breathing. Five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice job. Lowering the weight down to right around our collarbone height. Fix your stance, squat, and torso twist. Good. 10 on each side for a total 20. Here's five, six, That was halfway. Ten more to go. Three. Five more to go. Two. Three. Four. And done. Nice job. Setting that off to the side again. We're going to go down to the mat. We're going to do those mountain climbers again. I'll show you different ways you can challenge yourself with this. Again, we're lining this up. You can go fast, you can go slow, you can go opposite. Or just forward. And 20, nice job. Down to our side again. And lining that shoulder and elbow up. Bent leg, hip bumps. So we're gonna raise up into that side plank and bump down. Six, eight, and ten. Bent knee, clamshells. Seven. And 10. Nice job. Moving to our backs. Again, the height of our legs is going to depend on the strength of our abs. We want to make sure we're pushing our abs down so that there's not a gap between the mat or the floor and our back. Raising our legs up. 20 flutter kicks. Here we go.
then lower. That's going to be one count. Here we go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Nice job. We'll start on this side this time. Again, making that diamond. Resting our head in there. We're gonna cross crunch. One, two. Make sure not to pull on that neck or head. Here's seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice job. Other side, crossing over. breathing. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. We have our bird dogs to do again and we're going to add just a little bit something to those. Again, we're lining the knees and the hips up, wrists and shoulders. This time we're going to add in a little crunch. Again, you can still do them this way do them this way, but we're going to add in a crunch. Three, four, five, make sure you're not leaning to the outside. Seven, eight, make sure you're breathing, and ten. Nice job. Other side. Again, perfectly fine. You want to pause at the top. This is great too. Are we going to add in the crunch? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. That was two rounds. If you have time for a third round, I'd encourage you to go through that. And thank you for joining us today.